In this video, we will have a look at the shop floor client configuration cards. Let's navigate to the shop floor client configuration cards. We currently see one shop floor client configuration card. Let's have a look. Here we can see the shop floor client configuration card. We can see there are a number of sections here, the general, production order, job, and time. What is a shop floor client configuration card? It is a collection of settings that relate to shop floor insight. These will define how the application behaves for the various scanning stations on the floor. The settings relate to a number of things, including the UI of shop floor insight and its general behavior, the filtering or not of the dispatch lists for production order operations and jobs, which batches are used for consumption and output, including line coloring, among other things. Typically, we assign the shop floor client configuration cards to scanning stations with the use of an IP filter. Ideally, the scanning stations on the floor have fixed IP addresses. This is to facilitate the designation of a client configuration card to scanning stations on the floor. For example, an IP filter could be restricted to specific subnets such as 192.168.1. star. Any scanning station with a local IP with the same subnet would then use the associated shop floor configuration card. In this case, as we can see, the filter is simply set to star, indicating any or all local IP addresses. Now, let's have a filter added onto the shop floor client configuration card in order to only display production order operations that relate to work center 200. I will do this by adding a filter in the production routing custom filter. I will select the work center number field and I will then add the value of 200. I will save the shop floor configuration card let's now have a look at the shop floor inside application after a setting change such as that one we do want to do a hard refresh in chrome i will now log in to the shop floor inside application let's have a look at the dispatch list as you can see we are currently displaying the work center number and currently there is only four operations that are visible and that is because of the filter on the work center. A best practice here is to have a manageable list of operations visible in the dispatch lists. Too many operations make it harder to read and manage. There is no need to display operations that cannot be completed on any given scanning station. That is why filters on the shop floor client configuration card are very important. This concludes the video on shop floor client configuration cards. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.